In this video, I'll show how to use Revit design options to maintain simplified versions of elements that may be too complex for Sapphire analysis. This workflow can help you maintain a single Revit model for both design and analysis, an approach we call smart modeling. This video builds on the previous video that covered complex models and talked about common issues related to windows, curtain walls, and shading elements. I recommend you watch that video before this one. If you run into a situation where one or more of those elements needs to be simplified for Sapphire analysis, ideally you don't want to change your main model, and so instead you can use a design option. Here's how it works. Basically, what we're going to do is copy elements from our main model into a Sapphira design option, simplify those elements there, and then ignore the complex elements in the main model. In this example, I'm going to be simplifying a curtain wall, and the reason I'm going to be simplifying it is because this particular type has mullions that cut through the glass, and as I've discussed in past videos, that means that we have a number, uh, a whole bunch of different glazing planes uh, that Sapphire will see that will drive up our plane count, cause the model to slow down, and potentially cause mo more serious problems. Now, I've already created a new curtain wall type in here called curtain wall simple, uh, where I've removed the mullions. That's the one I'm going to use for analysis view. But obviously, I don't want to change, make that change in my main model. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select and copy all of the curtain walls in this model. So that got most of them. I know there's another type over here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just select, select these. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and copy those to the clipboard. And then, before I deselect, I'm going to come to the Properties panel, scroll to the very bottom, and set these as Ignored for Sapphira. So at this point, uh, from Sapphira's perspective, um, these more complex items are invisible. They're now not going to be used for analysis. So at this point, we're going to copy these into a new design option. So first, we will create a new option set. Now, we don't want to modify the primary option. We want to leave that option empty so that none of our changes or additions show up in any of our main model views. And instead, we'll create a new option below that. Let's rename it and call it Sapphira Energy Analysis. And that's the one that we're going to use for our simplified elements. So now that I've created that, let's go into our new design options. You can see that everything else grays out. And I will go to the Modify tab and select Paste Align to the same place. And so that will add back in those curtain wall elements that we copied from the main model. Now at this point it will give us a warning because we've created duplicate elements in our model. Uh, in this design option and the main model. That's fine because we uh, are only using this design option for Sapphire analysis, um, and Sapphire is going to ignore those more complex elements. Now before I deselect, what I'm going to do is change all of these curtain walls I just brought in to the simplified type I created. So now we can take a look at our Sapphire energy analysis view. And what we'll see is a view that doesn't have mullions. What we're seeing here is the curtain wall grid. That's fine. Sapphire will be able to stitch together those individual planes of glass uh, to make continuous strips of glazing here. And that's it. We have created a view where Sapphire is only seeing a simplified uh, version of that element, but our main model still has the initial element that uh, we want to show up in all of our drawings. The same workflow can be used to simplify complex window elements, complex shading devices, uh, or anything else without changing your main model. 